Today, Paul's cooking chili in a bread bowl with nachos. Ay, yeah, caramba! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm Ken, and this is Paul from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. How are you, buddy? Good. Excellent. What is on the menu today? I don't even know what's on the menu today. He will not tell me until we turn the camera on. I would tell. I just forgot to tell you. No, he does. He didn't want to tell me. I can do chili in a bread bowl. Hey, not bad. Oh, some tortillas on the side. Now, the reason why I decided this because you, we talked about something different, totally different. And I came home, and my wife was like, "There's lots of leftovers in the fridge," and I, I kind of looked. I'm like. Oh, should we did the tacos a couple days. I have all this ground beef and there's some chicken from fajitas. And I'm like, I'm going to make something out of all this stuff. Let's get started. Let's get started. So we're starting with what? Olive oil. Okay. I'm going to turn this on. Usually you'd be browning the meat first, but I've already got, I've got taco, like ground beef that Sonia made taco uh, tacos with. So it's already cooked. Mm -hmm. And I had some leftover chicken and onions yeah, sure. in there. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to mix all this into a chili. Because okay. why not? So, I've got some fresh garlic. Mmm, scratch, sniff. Nice. And some onion. Whole onion, half onion, or doesn't... That was a half onion. Yeah. Yellow and red bell pepper, diced. We got some jalapeno too, but we're gonna leave it out for now because I don't wanna make... Oh, hot well, because the kids. I don't wanna kill right. the kids. No, hey, but uh, <laughs> Ken's and mine, we can have hot. So while this is starting to heat up, might as well get the bread bowls going. So I just bought some Kaisers. I went, I just went to the store and I was picking some stuff up and I was looking. Well, that is perfect. Yeah. That's a nice round bun right there. Pardon? You don't want to cut to the bottom, right? Well, yeah, because you don't want it leaking out. Right. So you just what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to cut a nice open. We're going to save the, um, so I'm doing is I'm just made an opening, so I'm just making a bread bowl out of this. Okay. So I got a nice. And you can feed the birds miser. with the leftovers, or well, you, you can, can make do a lid. lot of stuff. Make croutons. Oh, we're not gonna have a lid on this. We're gonna do something a little. There's bit. But there's what we're gonna. No waste whatsoever. We never in waste. In Paul's kitchen. And poor Paul uh, stuck a drill through his finger. Yeah. If you're wondering about the band-aid, I was uh, <laughs> I was doing some repairs and uh, I did slip with the drill, and I I went right. Oh, I think I almost went right through. Oh. It was, and it was hard to sleep that night because I, it was just pounding. Yeah. In San Francisco, they put their chowder. Sourdough their, bread? Their clown, yep, and the, into the, the clown, clown chowder. The clown, clown, clown chowder. They had the clown chowder. The clam chowder in the bread bowl, but the bread bowl they used were freaking huge. And like now nobody at any of the tables I was looking around. Could finish finished, it? No, you couldn't finish it. It was so big. It was like a pumpernickel bread that you'd buy for like oh your house gosh. for a party of 20. Yeah, usually like sourdough, pumpernickel is like a, another popular one, hardier breads that you want, like ones that are obviously crusty on the outside as right. well. Right. And these are pretty crusty on the outside? Yes. If you wanted, I guess you could put them in, a, in the oven if you wanted them to Well, it depends on the, on the up, viscosity right? of what you're putting in there. If you're putting a right. soup, obviously, a soup. Yeah. you know, chili's going to be a bit thicker. So we're just going to get this uh, sauteing first. So we've got our bread bowl. I need to drink some beer too. Nice. It helps me concentrate. Oh, it's all in my eye. Earache my eye. Ooh. I guess while that's going too. Oh, it smells so good, people. What have you got here, man? I got some kidney beans. Drain your beans. Drain your beans. And we're going to rinse them. So look at what's left in the bottom there. So what you do is just take some. Let's see. Water with that. Just swish well, it around. Yeah, okay, right, right. Just to get all your beans out? Yeah. You just do this uh -huh. in cold water. Well, this will probably be the fastest chili I've ever seen anybody make. Yes, it will, Ken. Yes, yeah. it will. It's usually chili is like an, an all day ordeal, but not when Paul's cooking. No, it's like two, three minutes maximum. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a big can of tomatoes. Yeah, diced tomato. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bread bowls. I just want to put them in for a second. Not too long because we don't want to burn them because they're going to be going back in. Mm. I'm just going to put it in for a couple of minutes. Not and then, technically not necessary though, is it? This bread, no. But I want to make it a little bit crispy on the outside because yeah. the chili will soften the bread. And how long did you put those kaisers in the, in the oven for? Or what temperature, sorry? I have it at 370. 370 yeah, just, just for, for like, like two minutes, three two minutes. minutes. 
the grill. So we're gonna soften this right up. We could throw it, you could actually do it all in a slow cooker, just throw it all in and then leave in the morning and come back and it's all done. Right. Um, obviously we're speeding it up by sauteing the, uh, the onion. And using soft. leftovers too. And like using leftovers, it's all gonna go in and then it's pretty fast. The chicken, the taco meat. You want black beans in it too, Ken? Whatever you want, buddy. Whatever you want. You know me. I'll eat anything. What is that? This is cumin. Put it in there. Paprika. I'm trying to show people like amounts, but I'm like, I was just eyeball stuff. So I'll do two of these. Two teaspoons, tablespoons. That's a stuff like I basically your own soup spoon. Chili powder. Four? Oh, we're gonna go five. We're gonna make it. Oh. So it's gonna be chili. Yeah, chili. <laughs> and this is uh, a little can, but we gotta go light on this because we're gonna have um, the jalapenos. I just right. put a slight zing to this. I you don't wanna hurt the children. Out. We could. We, we could. We could if we really wanted to. Your kids eat this. Daddy hurt me. He's a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that smells yummy. I'm gonna put some of my my favorite pink Himalayan salt. I've actually had people put it in there. Never ever heard of it before find it at a Costco or whatever. And they're so happy. <clears throat> and then like take a picture of it and then send it to me saying, I finally found the Himalayan nice. salt that Paul uses. <laughs> Smell that, Ken. Chili is such a great thing. Oh, it's a great man. thing to use leftover. Look at the spices on that, ladies and gentlemen. That looks absolutely fantastic. Last? Last? That's what we're putting in last. Oh, you already put oh. beans in, you did it so fast. I, I don't know. Notice. I know what I got Before I lose track of what I'm doing here. Oh, no. These only one in, look at that. Beautiful. They're all burnt. Beautiful. That would have been a bad start. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm. That smells delicious. Yeah. And how long will you let that simmer, sir? It doesn't take long because it's all cooked. Yeah. There you go, Kenny. That is the loveliness, is what it is. Oh, boy. <clears throat> It's going for that extreme close-up. Oh, it's lovely. And I can't wait for the uh, jalapeno part because I don't think I've ever had a spicy hot chili before in my life. Really? It's all been like just regular chilies. No. Oh, remember that chili we had on our rock climbing trip in, in uh, Seneca Rocks? And she made it out with oh, bison? Oh, we had, oh, yeah, the bison. Gosh. And there was one that was really... Oh, and the smoky one. Remember that one? <laughs> Tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> That's what it was. It was like an ashtray. <laughs> We had way too much smoke. We actually had ashtray chili, oh. and I believe the person that made it was smoking cigarettes over top while they were cooking. That's it. what it tastes like an ashtray. Oh, not that I've ever tasted an ashtray, but you know. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna let that come up to temperature. You can already see it starting to boil. It's gonna be very quick. We're gonna scoop it in here, and then we're gonna finish it with some garnishes, and we're gonna put some fresh tortillas in the oven. And we're gonna plate it. See how fast and easy it was? Look at it. That was so quick. What time is it? It's hammer time. Whoa! <laughs> so she's bubbling away. So what we want to do now is we're going to put chili in our bread bowls. Ooh. A couple scoops. Ooh, one oh. more. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can have it pouring over. It doesn't... Yeah. Uh, you don't need to. doesn't matter. On top. Oh, I didn't cut the... Uh, I wanted to show the jalapeno. So Show got, the jalapeno. Yes. So I got some tomato. So he's garnishing it up. Ken loves bacon. I like bacon. What's the sausage you're using there? Chorizo sausage. Chorizo. Like that. So you're not going to seed it? No. Nice. That's where all the heat is, apparently. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm. Looks good. Oh, dude, that looks amazing. It's amazing. You put a little bit of green on the red, and it just all of a sudden just pops. How's that? Oh, the little piece. Oh, 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 mm. oh it's hungry. That's why it looks like two eyes. It does. It does. We're going to slide this in here. 
Paul, what's up, buddy? Oh boy, this is what's up. Mmm. Oh. Oh, nice How's and crispy. Does that look, Kenny? I'm going to be able to grab this with the tongs. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice job. The one there. Oh, it almost oh. crossed. Oh. Like that. I saw that the last second. Oh, awesome. Some for me, some for you. Oh. You like sour cream on top? Sure. Ooh. That looks good. Oh, that nachos smell amazing. I'll just on there too because I like it on everything. And then, ah, I lost something. And as, as a I fake garnish, put like uh, a jalapeno just cupping each one of those. That's it, run there. <laughs> That'll be looking good for the picture. That yeah. looks awesome. Paul, that looks great, buddy. Mm. Picture time. Okay, Paul has plated this amazing meal. We won't be eating the uh, the jalapeno unless you want to. Why not? Unless, you, really? You want to eat the jalapeno while we're, because we almost got like a whole half a jalapeno. Yeah, I'm gonna move this to the side. I was, I was talking to Paul earlier about, sometimes you can get a jalapeno and it's like crazy hot. Yeah, like, I don't know what to expect from this one. Yeah, and sometimes you can get them that they're mild. So today will be a day we find out. So I guess we're gonna spoon out or? You can, I just, I'm gonna I'm cut put it out. that out there just in case I don't need it. I want to open mine up. Oh, oh, look at that beautiful, super crusty. Like, oh yeah, look like, at like the clown. Oh, crusty. Oh, I know it smells oh, like. I rattle. It smells like pizza. Mmm. Doesn't it smell like pizza just for a second there? Mm. I'm gonna put the jalapeno over there. Oh, you're already in it, dude. I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid. afraid. I'm afraid to put that. Look in how there. beautiful that looks. That looks. Uh, that looks like an alien. Look, wait. Yeah, like it it's looks gonna, like an alien egg. And it's gonna jump out and bite my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna come out of your chest. Oh. You did eat some, didn't you? I did. I cannot lie. I got a jalapeno on there too. This is, I guess, the best idea, so it cools down. It's almost like a blooming onion. Oh, jalapenos are hot. Oh yeah? Oh! Crazy? Oh! Oh boy. I'm gonna get one of the jalapenos on there. She's got a here, good kick. Here we go, people. I'm sorry, Paul. Look at that. Oh, she's hot. Look at that thing. Mm. Oh boy, the chili itself is absolutely amazing. To, to use all those leftovers and then create a chili out of all those leftovers like that, that tastes great, buddy. Very nice. Paul, at the last second, literally at the last second, he's like, hey, you wanna put like a side on there of nachos and cheese? And I'm like, sure, man, that's awesome. Two seconds later, we have nachos and cheeses aside. Cheers. Oh, wait. Oh, I got two jalapenos Oh, on there. I got one sliced on top. Oh. So hot. Mm. Mix it in the sour cream to cool her down a bit. Woo. The chili itself is amazing. The bun is, I'm glad you crisped it up like that. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, inside soft. Mm -hmm. All right, nice crispy. The whole the outside, the whole crisping up before you put it in, and then after you put it in too. Mmm. Almost makes me wish it was snowing right now. This is one of those in the middle of winter, heartwarming type meals that you'd want to create for your family with leftovers. Throw some chicken in there. Throw some beef in there. Nice. Okay, Paul and I are gonna finish these off and we'll be right back, hang on. All right guys, we are done, but Paul wanted to dare me to eat this. And he's gonna, I, I can't believe he's gonna eat it. This is I don't gonna, wanna eat it now. I changed my mind. I'm gonna bite it. See, uh, how about bite half of it? Wait, <laughs> it's not biting half of it. I'm just testing the waters. And Paul hasn't finished his meal. I'm gonna fit, I need that, uh, that's the bread part that's gonna cool oh, us okay. down. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you said you were full again. I'm full, but I, I, I'm drinking and eating and I'm, I'm keeping, I'm keep on trucking. <laughs> okay, 
Oh boy, I don't think I've ever eaten. Oh. I've had, it tastes like green pepper. <laughs> and the heat is starting to come. But the first bite, it's like, oh, oh my gosh. So, as you, oh, when you bite the tip of pepper, it's not hot. That's it's the mean, mildest part. Bite it off as more get, than the tip. As you get to the pith in here where the seeds are. That's the hottest that's, part. That's the heat. So, oh. Paul's already sweating. What is wrong with me? Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Should we go for it or what? Ah. I gotta eat this and think about it. I've had ghost pepper, I've had reaper, and I've had scorpion. I've never had a fresh scorpion or a reaper. This is the first. And I've had jalapeno before. <sighs> this is nothing compared to the heat of The only problem is it's like creeping on me. Oh, I know, it's ah. slowly building my tongue. Do it, Ken. Oh. oh my gosh. My tongue is going numb. Why? <laughs> it's just a jalapeno. Oh. I don't know. I gotta think about this. Call me a wimp. Oh. Actually, it has a really nice heat. <laughs> <laughs> The guy's dying. I like saying nice that. Heat. It has a really nice heat. A really nice heat to it. You guys seem to like it when I take my glasses off. Oh, oh boy. Bottoms up. Oh. Oh. You're getting to the heat there. How's that? It doesn't taste like a green pepper anymore. I know the tip always tastes like a, like a green pepper when you first bite, you don't have any heat. There was different flavors in that one. Oh boy. That was a bad idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. There have been a few people who don't know that we've eaten uh, ghost peppers, Reapers, scorpions, and when we react to heat like this, it just, just brings back memories. Uh, and this one's really attacking my tongue, like yes. the whole tongue. My lips out on the outside are burning right now, and I've even gone as far as you. I'm afraid to do this now. I know beer is not the best thing, but that's what I have right now. You can do it! It's gonna work! Ah, even swallowing? I've turned into a jalapeno whip. I'm getting dizzy. What? <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Ken's gonna I'm fall back in the stool. Dizzy. Oh, we're gonna put on slow motion. Okay, while you're suffering there, I'm gonna go put some more in the oven so that the other boys can eat. Maybe I'll stick a jalapeno in there for them. We'll be back in a minute. I have now recovered. I apologize for the wimpiness of my my attitude there, but that was a freaking, freaking hot pepper. You didn't even get far into it and you had to stop. That's how hot the pepper was. I think my... I, my nose, I don't know if it's sprayed up my nose. I'm burning right up to here. <laughs> I usually put the pepper in my mouth. And I don't chew know it, why. So. It's like I, you know what? Did I stick the pepper up my nose? I think you did. We'll have to watch the replay. Uh... Anyway, Paul, thank you very much for dinner. You're welcome. It was fantastic. I love the whole bowl idea. And the fact that you just went and got in Kaiser's, you didn't, you didn't go and find some special bun or whatever. No, just, um, because a lot of times you're just, you're on the fly and you, I mean, you can 
go and spend hours and hours looking for certain things, but I always find it intriguing just going into a store and obviously I always go local and then just walk around and see what you can use and, and use what's in the house. And they bake their own buns right there, right? They do. Fresh baked Kaiser bun with chili inside and you put some cheese and some toppings, baked it again and bake it beforehand, crisp it up, bake it afterwards. I love the fact that it was crispy like that. Yeah, and outside that's nice not, and a little bit soft. Yeah. Outside's nice and crispy and it was awesome. Thank you very much, Full sir. Meal. If you guys don't want to miss another amazing recipe done by this gentleman right here, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another one. If you love this video though, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out. My name is No. My sign is No. I gotta let it go. <laughs>